In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get this shot. I call it the fake walk. Looks great, and it's very easy to do, and it saves a lot of time. Breakology! I'm using my iPhone to shoot this. I want to show you what the setup is. Here's my camera, here's a little Lego dude, and here's the background. And that's all it is. I don't want to have a road because you don't really see it. I've secured this Lego plate with this tacky putty, and that's really what the shot is. All right, so here we are in dragon frame again. Now, the one thing that you want to make sure is the background is always moving. So I could either just keep gliding the background like this, like he's moving forward, dip, 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 but him not moving. And that just looks like he's floating in the air as he's moving forward. If that's what you want to go for, awesome. But I like the effect of him walking. So throughout this whole thing, the background needs to continuously slide as he does his steps and how fast he walks you know the illusion will be determined by how fast you of course move the background but i like this shot because you can see his face you see his body and the background is blurred out so the center of focus is always on him all right so first he's gonna i'm gonna make him pretend that he takes his left leg to step forward first so his right arm needs to start swinging forward while his left arm starts moving back and his body will start to naturally lift a little. There we go. And of course, we need to start making the background move. Whoops, that might be a little too fast. Let's see. Let's move it just a touch. There we go. And take a picture. Then he starts to step forward so his arms swing a little bit more. He steps forward, there's the step, and make the background move a little, take a picture, he plants his foot, so his body will move down a little, his arms start swinging back, and move the background a little, take a picture, and now he's going to be back at home position, so he's standing upright. His body shifts back a little and the background moves a little. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, there's the step. Then the right leg moves forward, so his left arm starts swinging forward, his right arm starts swinging back. He starts to lift a little and the background starts moving. Take a picture. A little bit more of a swing of the arms takes a step forward the background moves a little take a picture he plants his leg the arm starts swinging back the background moves a little and now he's going to be back at home position where his body settles back a little and the background continues to move so those are two steps one two there we go then the left leg, and I just keep repeating this, left leg steps forward, so the right arm moves forward, left arm moves back. He starts to lift up a little in his step. Back arm moves a little. His arms continue to swing forward. Let's swing a little bit more. He's got a little bit of a swagger. Steps, takes the step forward. The background continues to move. Now the arms start swinging back to home position. He plants his foot. The background continues to move. Now his arms are back at home and he's back settled upright and the background continues to move. That's three steps. One, two, da, 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 da. Now, what did we do? Now his left arm will swing forward because his right arm, right leg, excuse me, takes a step. So for me, this is just much faster. Oh. And move the background. And I like it because it's just a different angle than always showing the entire minifigure body. You know, this gives you a sense of a little bit more intimate of a shot. He plants 
starts moving back. Background continues to move. And it just seems a little bit more, I don't know, cinematic for me. So there's another step. So let's see what that looks like. Boom, 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 boom. Da, 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 da. Look at that. And let's do one more step. So this arm starts moving forward. So we're doing four steps. And I can knock this out pretty fast. The background continues to move. And then, and he takes the step, so his body will shift forward a little. Background continues to move. Arms start swinging back. He plants his leg. Background moves. And then his arms are back at home, and he's back upright. And background moves again. So that's five steps. There we go.